clear. Behind the wings on either side of One Week Wonder. So kind of split the group behind the wings and around the back of the tail. Yeah. Alright, you folks here on the uh, river left side, come up and fill in the gap there a little bit. You want me to grab, come down and grab the bullhorn from you? Yeah. It's been an entire year since I've set foot on Sonic's property. But their annual open house party is an excellent way to kick off the week at EAA AirVenture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Sonex pulls back the assembly curtain enough so we can all get a glimpse of what happens here throughout the year, building airplanes. Right, so back here at Sonex for their open house party, I like to yeah, call it, right? That's right, open house and homecoming fly-in. What number is this for you? Oh, God. Um, Many years doing this. probably our, as far as the open house, it's something like our 13th or 14th annual yeah. uh, that we've been doing the open house. Yeah. So the big big news or big change for me being here is seeing the one week wonder painted in person, putting hands on it, not not dirty hands, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it looks great, red, white, and blue. And how many you added some states to the union with the stars? Yeah, I don't know how many stars like they put on it. Charles said like eighty or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the EAA uh, uh, Kermit Week staff were here putting the stars on it, and there's way more than fifty. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, you know our colonial aspirations, I guess. <laughs> well, it looks really good. So um, again, that's the the first factory built, you know, during the one week wonder with the Rotax. Then you have an employee built, which was Chris's airplane. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we got yeah. those two, and then there's a a customer built Casey, which should be arriving any moment here. So you have possibly three mm -hmm. to be flying in the near future. Yeah, we have uh, we have lots of other Rotax powered Sonics out there. Okay. Um, a lot of them. There's a uh, several in South America, a bunch in Europe. Um, so people have been doing it for years, um, even before we ever made motor mounts. They were making their own motor mounts for it. So um, it's not a not a brand new thing to the Sonics fleet. Right. Uh, but you know, not something that we're we're newly experiencing as a factory. Sure. Um, so, so what, what else is new in the industry for you? How, how are the uh, the lead times if I were to order a kit today? What's that looking like? So yeah, regular kits were about 16 to 20 weeks. Uh, quick build kits, we've been running about 10 months on uh, on the quick builds, which is you know where we build the fuselage and the wings for you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's they've been pretty stable around those those lead times. Good. Yeah, it seems like the industry it's getting more and more between a year to two years on kit delivery, and especially yeah. some that are building the SLSAs, they are 24 months, so right. being anything less than that is still industry standard at the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's always our goal to quick builds to be, I mean, honestly, within a year, there's always, you know, that quick, that one build that, you know, ends up, for whatever reason, taking a little bit longer, but generally we're, we're sticking within that, you know, 10 months lead time pretty well. Yeah. How about an update on the uh, the two-seater jet, the side-by-side -side jet? Yeah, so the two-seat jet is still going on. Um, we uh, I've been working on that and the high wing, uh, but it's just been a super busy year uh, supporting all the existing orders and existing customers. So horrible problem to have. It's right. Yeah. So you know we are still working on it. We did that turtle deck modification that we talked about after Oshkosh last year. Lowered it just and a little lowered bit. it just a little bit because it was just way too tall, more than it needed. So we reduced the frontal area. Um, uh, you know, better airflow to the engine. Now we're working on controls installation. We've got a lot of the landing gear components out at the machining vendors uh, getting worked on. Uh, we'll get a new canopy. We have to make a new canopy frame uh, for the lower turret. The ripple deck. effect of engineering. That's on. right. Yeah, everything, you know, uh, everything affects everything else. We have all the instruments and the engine and everything ready to install, so we'll have to start putting the fuel system together here pretty soon, and, uh, and we'll have an airplane flying before too long. All right, so now we're going to give an update on the high wing. I'll be honest, I, I, I didn't get the memo, yep. and I was a little disappointed. I came here today to the homecoming thinking this will be the time the sheet will be ripped off and at least have some type of cardboard cutout or wooden thing. No, no, it didn't happen. No, I thought about doing something wood and it just, I knew it wouldn't translate well. I knew that it would, it would, it just wouldn't be a good look. <laughs> have it or don't have it. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it yeah. just, you know, the reality is, like I was saying, we've spent a, 
a lot of energy, especially this spring, um, really focusing on uh, the existing customers' needs and getting them taken care of. Uh, trying to, you know, we're still, you know, we're still in that era of supplying uh, of, of a challenging supply chain, and so we've had to put a lot of effort in on that, and um, and that's been really challenging. So that's where, where our focus has been. Um, we're still progressing on the design work, and and this fall, I mean, I fully fully expect that we'll be we'll be cutting parts and putting things together. Well, like I said off camera, the moment you have something to touch. Call me. I'd yeah. love to come out here and put Absolutely. some hands on it. Yeah, yeah and follow follow the High Wing. You know, join the High Wing mailing list for folks who aren't already a member, and you'll get an email automated whenever we have a post about it to update. And that's the best way to, to stay up to date on the project. Okay. And lastly, the thing that uh, we're all watching with you is Sonic's Aerospace. Yeah. You've got a couple of them out there from yeah. different companies, which I know we're not totally a lot to talk about. But well, we can talk about at Mississippi State University. Okay, let's talk about that the one. MSU has two of our Taros. The Taros is um, based on our Xenos motor glider, and uh, they've been flying the heck out of those airplanes uh, at the university doing research grants. Um, I think their current one is with uh, Department of Homeland Security. I think they also did um, a research project with U.S. Army Night Vision Laboratories with the airplane. So, and they've been very public about the airplane. They have, you know, open houses for the university, and they, they publicize the airplane very highly. And they're not afraid to admit that we built it. <laughs> so, some of the larger organizations with big marketing departments wants the world to think that they own it all. Yeah. Um, so we're not allowed to talk about it. Oops. But. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's awesome still to be dabbling in that, and uh, you're both you're working in both piston and jet powered, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we've been doing the subsonics for many years now. Um, we have a a twin engine version of the subsonics that's unmanned that we did for a project for the uh, Air Force Research Laboratory. All of this runs through our really our one customer, which is a company uh, in Pennsylvania called Nadmar Applied Sciences or NASC for short. And uh, really, we owe it all to them in terms of of um, the opportunity of building these these airframes and, and doing these design modifications to meet their needs. They're the ones that pack all the electronics in it and have the contracts with the end user, whether it be a government agency or, or, a, or a civilian organization. Um, they're the ones that are really um, where the rubber's really meeting the road. Um, we just kind of provided our design and we're really privileged to be able to work with them on it. Awesome. Well, thanks for the quick update here at the Open House Party yeah. 2023, and we'll check out uh, your booth over in the show. Sounds good. We'll see you uh, uh, starting tomorrow. Sometime in the, during the week, we'll see you out of the booth. Sounds good. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more.